Hi everyone, uh, you're more than welcome to the AIT Virtual Open Day. Um, my name is Cathy Braham and I am the course coordinator for the Higher Certificate in Applied Science course here at AIT. Now, this is a two-year higher certificate course, and it is a level six award. So it is within the Department of the Life and Physical Sciences, and the course code, as you can see above, is AL632. So on completion of this two-year course, you will be awarded a higher certificate in science. So you can see the AIT website address below, www.ait.ie forward slash courses forward slash AL632. Now, if you click on this link, you should be able to go to the AIT website or copy this link, and you will be able to find all of the information on the higher certificate in science following this video. Now, we do have a minimum entry requirements, which you will see on the website, and our cutoff CAO points for 2020 were 243 points. So I'll take you through some of the minimum entry requirements. So we have a minimum grade of 06 at ordinary level in five subjects in the Leaving Certificate examination. Two of these subjects then should be in a mathematics and a language, which should, could be English or Irish. Now, any QQI level five is also acceptable. Um, however, students must are required to have the module mathematics included in their award or alternatively have a leaving certificate mathematics um, grade with a minimum of an 06 or a H7. So if you undertake the um, AIT Higher Certificate in Applied Science program, what you will do is you will gain a valuable hands-on experience in the laboratory, as well as being able to explore your scientific interests. So by taking this two-year degree, you get, um, I suppose, a nice rounded experience of all the facets of science, and then you can actually choose which type of science you would want to further your career in following your two years. So almost all of our scientific modules will have a practical component within them. Um, and these practicals will complement what you are learning within your lectures so that your lectures and practicals then will go hand in hand. Now, in this way, you will cement the learning theories that you have learned in your lectures each week. AIT also have a number of industry partners, which we are very proud of. And these would include um, Almac, Alexion and Abbott, as well as other industry partners as well. So there are many past students from AIT which have very successful careers in these types of companies. So why should you take this particular course? So the Higher Certificate in Applied Science will give you an excellent opportunity to explore areas of biology, physics, mathematics and chemistry. And you will see when we talk about the modules in a few minutes that you will also get experience um, in IT, basic computing skills and also inquiry based learning, which will help you with your academic writing skills and also how to apply that to your practicals as well as your examinations. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through our course structure. So it is a two year higher certificate course. So what I'm going to do is I'll take you first of all through the year one modules. So as you can see, we have them listed here. So we have biology, mathematics for scientists, chemistry, physics. Some of them you may not um, be familiar with, such as your learning and development or your current scientific issues through inquiry based learning. So I'll explain what's involved in each of the these modules so you have a better understanding of what you'll actually be uh, learning within your lectures and your practicals as well. So let's start with biology. So this will include uh, systems of the body, plant biology, as well as microorganisms. Then in mathematics for scientists, you will be studying calculus and algebra. In chemistry, you will be looking at the basic compounds um, or concepts of chemicals, uh, the fundamental um, identifying and drawing of organic compounds as well. In physics, you will apply the principles of physics to specific applications in both chemistry and biology. You'll also measure physical quantities and employ precision, accuracy and error analysis. It's very important as well to employ problem solving skills within physics um, in year one as well. 
Now, learning and development for higher education. So within this module, you'll actually develop uh, competent academic and scientific writing skills and this will prepare you for your assignments and your practical reports as well and even for the further years of your study. We also then have information technology sp specifically for scientists. So this will take you through the basic software and hardware of typical PC systems. You will get familiar with all the basic softwares and applications of the main types of these uh, particular softwares that you will be using in class. So scientific computing, then you will actually be using advanced Excel techniques um, in mathematical and statistical analysis of your practical data. Um, you will be looking at data representation and becoming familiar with basic programming concepts. And finally, your current scientific issues through inquiry based learning, or as we call it, EBL. So this is a really nice addition to your first year modules, and it will allow you to employ diagnostic reasoning and analytical problem solving skills. So this is one module that you can actually apply to all of your other modules, because you'll be able to discover the best resources for acquiring information to under understand the scientific problems as well. So that's your first year um, and these subjects will be spread across and um, they might be in semester one or semester two or across both semesters as well. Our year two of your higher certificate in applied science then. So what we're doing in year two is really we're building on what we have learned from year one. And you will be getting a more in-depth knowledge and understanding of your particular subjects. So essentially in year one, we covered biology, chemistry, physics, and you'll see that biology and chemistry will start to be broken down into even more in-depth uh, titles in within those particular subjects. So for example, in uh, biology, these will be broken down into further in-depth modules such as your gene technology, your biochemistry, your microbiology, um, and your chemistry then will be broken down into organic chemistry, um, analytical techniques, and physical and or inorganic chemistry. So I'm going to take you through what all of these modules will entail. So for example, um, maths and statistics, you will have done this in first year. So in second year, you'll be getting a more in-depth appreciation and understanding for the mathematics and statistical analysis that you will use within science. Gene technology, then you will be looking at the structure and function of your nucleic acids. Um, you'll also be solving inheritance problems through the application of the rules of genetics. You can also analyze um, significance and causes of these particular genetic mutations. And within the practical elements, you'll also be looking at uh, DNA techniques and how we can actually apply these to some of the practical problems that we will encounter. So then we, um, we have biochemistry. So we'll be looking at biomolecules and um, biological molecules and the cellular structure and function. So you'll also be covering the metabolic pathways within the body and looking at biochemical techniques in the laboratory as well. So again, there's going to be um, a very hands-on experience within the laboratories and you will be cementing what you're learning in the lectures in the practicals as well. So within biochemistry, you will also be applying biochemical concepts uh, to medicine, food and technology. Microbiology then is the study of bacteria, viruses and fungi. So the role of microbiology in modern society, uh, particularly now, uh, you will be more familiar with uh, the viruses uh, structure and function as well. So this will be really, really interesting um, how microbiology can shape their, our modern society as well. Organic chemistry then will look at the structure and function of organic, camp, organic compounds and um, I suppose the current issues within organic chemistry and in the broader industry as well. So this brings us to analytical techniques. So what this subject will involve is the common techniques that are actually used in industry. So this is a really important subject if you were to seek employment after your second year, because you would be looking at some of these industry placements um, for job opportunities. And essentially all of the techniques that you would learn in this particular module will be invaluable to, invaluable to you um, within the industry setting. 
So just some of the common techniques that we would be learning about would be spectroscopy and chromatography. And remember, with all of these techniques as well, you'd also be learning how to interpret their data, how to troubleshoot um, and how to use the techniques to, um, I suppose, um, manipulate the data that you have as well. So within physical and inorganic chemistry, then you'll be looking at the structure of atoms, chemical bonding, thermodynamics, ke chemical kinetics, and even electrochemistry. Now, overall, as you can see from all of those subjects across year one and year two, you're going to be gaining a valuable hands-on experience in the laboratory. So remember, most of our scientific modules will have a laboratory component, which are really, really important because we pride ourselves in AIT on our practical experience. So even throughout this entire pandemic, we have been working um, within the lab with our students and um, our students have been getting amazing experience within the lab. So this will stand to you at the end of your two years, or even if you go on to progress within um, other courses as well within AIT. So as well as this valuable hands-on experience, you'll also be able to explore other scientific interests. So the most important element of our higher certificate in applied science program is that after the completion of your second year, you actually have a choice. So you can choose whether you're going to seek employment within industry or even research, or you can choose to continue your studies um, within AIT or within another um, university or institute. So if you choose employment, um, many of our graduates are typically employed as science technicians in research or in industry um, other educational institutions or even governmental um, agencies as well. So you can always remember, choose to continue your education. So at this stage, you will have had two years of experience um, within different facets of science. So we, you will have a real feel of what type of science you were really interested in at this stage. Um, and now you can actually apply that to our ladder system within AIT. And remember, many people who have started off within the higher certificate in applied science have actually progressed to level seven, level eight and on to masters and PhD programs as well. So what opportunities might uh, the higher certificate in science lead to? So as a graduate, you're eligible, like I said, to follow on to a level seven program within your, uh, which will be your third year of your studies. So the options that you have within AIT are to progress to a level seven program within biotechnology or pharmaceutical science. And additionally, then you can have an add on level eight degree program um, that can come after your level seven degree. Um, alternatively, you may progress to related level seven programs in other third level institutions. So what I'm going to do now is um, take you through our ladder program here at um, AIT. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about, um, I suppose, the level sevens, the levels eights, what are the biotechnology and what are the pharmaceutical science options that you have. So um, as you can see at uh, the bottom of your screen here, you have your level six program in blue. So this is your higher certificate in, sci in applied science. So what you can do following your two years, if you've completed your two year program, you have your level six certificate. So essentially, then you can apply for a level seven uh, program, which is a one year add on. So you can see here in the uh, the pink column or the pink row um, above the applied science, you can have a one year add on in biotechnology or a one year add on in pharmaceutical science. Now, what is biotechnology? So it's really a broad area of biology and it involves living systems and organisms and how we develop or make products. Your pharmaceutical sciences then is the study of the formulation, the development and the manufacture of new drugs. So it depends, do you want to go down more biology or more chemistry route? So um, we do have um, 
those options for you after the completion of your level six. If you complete your level seven, then this would remember this is going to be your third year and you can actually apply for a fourth year add on to, to bring you up to your level eight program. So remember, if you've chosen your one year add on level seven biotechnology, you can move on then to a level eight biotechnology degree, which will be your honors degree. Or if you choose your pharmaceutical science level seven, once you complete that, you can apply for your level eight again honors degree in pharmaceutical sciences as you can see up here in the yellow so following the completion then of your level eight degree programs essentially you are eligible then to apply for any level nine or level 10. so what are your level nine programs what are your options so you could do a master's so this could be either a taught master's, which you would do lectures, you'd also do a bit of research, or you can actually do a master's by research as well. So both of those are level nine, or you could actually choose to go to a level 10, which could be um, your PhD program in any of your chosen fields. Now, many graduates um, from our level eight programs also seek employment. So remember, that's always your option. And that's the main, um, I suppose, the main advantage of our higher certificate program is that we have options at each step. So remember, it's a ladder system. You're, you're making your way up the ladder and you can seek employment at any stage or you can actually continue on to continue your, um, your education career. Okay, so um, now you can choose I suppose once you once you figure out if you want to move on to a level seven, you can take it step by step. Remember, each of these are add ons. So there is never um, an onus on you to continue further. You can always seek your employment either. OK, so that's our ladder system. Remember, all of this is actually on our website as well. Um, and you can also look through our prospectus, which you can find online, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Now, talking about our higher um, certificate in applied science, what career opportunities might this lead to? So I've alluded to some of these um, in the previous slides. So the majority of our graduates um, from our higher certificate level seven program um, will find opportunities um, as science technicians um, in research, industry, educational institutions and governmental agencies as well. Or you could decide to continue in education. Remember, you could go to your level seven, your level eight, master's or PhD programs as well. So this is our undergraduate prospectus, which you can actually find on the AIT website, which has all of our information um, that I've been talking about, all of these courses, and it has uh, the information on the ladder system there as well. Now, recently, AIT has retained its position um, within the University Guide 2021. So it's retained its position um, as Ireland's top ranked Institute of Technology in the Sunday Times Good University Guide. So the official league table benchmarking uh, the country's 19 higher education institutions. Now, remember, this is actually the second consecutive year that AIT has finished top of its class. Um, and we've previously won the Institute of Technology of the Year in 2020. Um, they, the third level institute also held the prestigious title in 2018 and was a runner up in 2017. So um, it's a really exciting time at AIT and we have lots of interesting things going on as well. So, for example, one of the undergraduate um, opportunities, I suppose, that we have is if you continue to a level eight degree program, we run the Sure Undergraduate Research Conference as well, which essentially um, gives undergraduate students um, an opportunity to present either um, via an oral presentation or even a poster presentation, their undergraduate research project that they would have done in fourth year. So there's lots of opportunities for our undergraduate students um, and they're really exciting times within AIT. We also have a state of the art STEM facility that has gotten the green light for in AIT, um, which will be up and running um, in the next couple of years as well. So um, hopefully you have enjoyed our talk on the higher certificate in applied science. Remember, um, 
we will have a question and answer session. Feel free to answer any questions that you have. You can jot them down um, and you can ask them during that Q&A. Um, or if you have any other further questions, um, we also um, have some email addresses here that you can also take down. So our head of department, Dr. Nula Commons, um, her email is there. We also have a telephone number. And remember, you can also contact me, the program coordinator, Kathy Braham at AIT.ie. So just to put up our um, codes and the level for our applied science program. So remember the code is AL632. It's a level uh, six higher certificate program and it is a two-year duration with the possibility to add on afterwards if you need, if you wish. So our cutoff points are 243 um, and we have our minimum entry requirements there which are also on the AIT website uh, if you follow the link below or you can get them through the the AIT undergraduate prospectus. Hopefully you have enjoyed our, um, our talk today. If you have any other specific uh, inquiries, you can also um, bring your questions to the admissions office in AIT as well, or the above email addresses. We hope to see you at AIT next year, and thank you very much for coming along. Bye, guys. <laughs>